So today I'm working on a collar for my dog, and uh, the dog's a therapy dog, and it has they have real specific instructions or restrictions on uh, on the collar. You can't have anything that hangs down and jingles or, or makes noise. So I have to uh, rivet this. Uh, they also have to have current rabies and identification shown on their collar, and so um, I need to rivet these in place. So I got my holes punched and uh, pretty easy to do with that tool there. And uh, I've got the holes punched in such a way that they're not blocking any of the lettering. So the next thing I want to do is uh, work on getting a hole in this material. And I've never worked with this material before so I'm not sure how it's going to work out. but. I guess I'll start with this uh, this one here. That's about where I want to put it. I'm going to slide a piece of wood under here. And what I'm going to do is just first just start with a, a sharp blade and see if I can pierce this material. Not sure how that's going to work out, but I'm going to give that a try. I'm going to step it up to a larger size here. Yeah, that punched easily. So the next thing I need to do is put in a rivet. Let's see what the rivet length will need to be. Yeah, let's see if I can get a rivet actually to go in there. I might have to get it started again here. Well, it's a fight, but it does go. I've got a rivet going all the way through. And what I want to do is uh, make sure I've got enough for a washer. Yeah. I can squeeze it and get a washer to go. So what I'm going to do is uh, just tack this one. And what I mean by that is I'm not going to fully pull the rivet and click it. I just want to get it started so it won't come back out. So I'm going to get the uh, washer as tight in there as I can. I have longer rivets if I need them. So I've got the rivet started. So it started to swell there. So it's going to keep the washer and everything in place. And next I can pivot this down. I'm going to slide my, my block of wood back in there. And I'll do the process again. I'll start with a sharp blade. So it doesn't look like I'm going to need any heat. Which is actually a good thing because when you do heat and melt the nylon it sort of makes it pucker up and and it sometimes prevents you from getting it as tight as you'd like to. So this is actually a little bit larger than the rivet. So I can pivot that out of the way. Go in here with this blade. Just kind of 
trying to work it around and stretch it out a little bit. As you saw on the last one, it took a few attempts. See the it's the nylon that's sort of getting caught. I'm gonna try and just move that out of the way. Put a washer on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire this rivet, I think. an aluminum rivet hopefully so they won't rust and I'll go ahead and fully uh, seat this rivet also and I can put this on a uh, use my hammer and flatten that down a little but I don't it, uh, if you need to but it's being padded by this back side, so I don't really think it's that necessary. So now I can uh, go ahead and install this tag. So I'll do the same thing I did, put the, put the wood in there. And unfortunately this one's going to hang over. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut that, I think. There's no need for that. So I did file it down a little bit just to remove some of the overhang. There's still a little there, but it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and punch this hole now. Get a rivet ready. Same procedure, I'm going to get one locked in. And use it to locate the other one. try putting the tool through this way. Then maybe use the rivet to push it out. See if that works.
don't think that's going to work. I guess uh, what, what does sort of work is to push the rivet in that way and just kind of move the strands out of the way. I'm going to do the same thing on this rivet. I'm going to just lock the, the uh, I'm going to swell the rivet slightly to lock the washer. So it can't come out. So, but it still allows me to rotate it around. Then I can locate the other rivet that I want. And you work on that hole. Yeah, that one worked pretty easily there. Got lucky that time. And so now I can lock this rivet fully. And lock this one. We go. Um, now my dog has a compliant collar, and by that it's, it's uh, has nothing jingling around that's going to make noise. <laughs> 